Hey what's up everybody my name is Trophy at the Babbling Belgian and welcome back to Fallout 4 Survival. As you can see we're still in uh, Hangman's Alley, our little base in the middle of Boston. And uh, today as promised we're gonna try and rescue Nick Valentine. Nick is being holed up in the, well the base, the hideout of uh, Skinny Malone, a local gangster. Because uh, he was doing research about him and he got uh, probably got caught by the man himself. So we're gonna head back to uh, in the general direction of Backstreet Apparel right over here and keep continuing in that direction because that door you can see on the map is actually the location of Skinny Malone's gang. And as we're going along I think we're facing super mutants over there yeah. So I want to get a bit closer so I can see what this guy is. It seems like a normal super mutant. So I'm guessing if I can snipe off his head from here, I can actually... Oh wow, that didn't even take half of his health off. But I'm still in caution, so... Oh god! He has a rocket launcher. That's not good. That's going over. Where is he? I think he's probably heading in my direction. So... If I pop up here and he shoots a rocket in my face, I'm gonna be dead. So pop up, shoot him a few times. And that was before, yeah. Ooh, wow. Yep, he went flying. Uh, I could check out his course, but I heard a few raiders above us as well. At least we took out our first super mutant. There we go, double missile and a missile launcher. And they're right beside us. So these raiders were just... Happily living right next to the super mutant. That's interesting. Hello. Probably in the building here. If I don't need to fight them, I'm not going to fight them. So uh, yeah, I think this bridge is always occupied by at least one super mutant. I haven't seen it any other way so far in, my, in most of my playthroughs. So, so that theater over there has a, well, a creepy little unmarked side quest. But we're going to head into the city again. Trying to avoid most of the open areas. Oh, ah, right, we're at Hallucigen. Uh, I don't really need to be here yet, I think. Yeah, so there's a few frag mines around here. There's one on the right there as well, I think. Didn't I see one? No. Okay, if I can get that. So as you can see, everybody's dead over here. If you've uh, seen the gun display too, you already know what happened here. There we go. Um... But yeah, this is the Hallucigen building, um, owned by a company that makes Hallucigenic, so that kind of makes sense. And that's probably also why everybody started murdering them each other. But they're all gunners, and gunners can have some nice loot, so I'm just grabbing the ammo while we're here. I do need to be careful that there aren't any other mines, because usually if there's one mine, there's more. I need to be careful also that I don't spook myself because of the exploding sandbags but otherwise feels like we're doing just fine that's now marked on the map and we should be fine i'm just gonna stay clear of that car just in case that also has a mine underneath it and then then and then i think we're almost there but i notice usually super mutants in that building and then we get to this little park i think we're fine right now so boston common I think we're fine. I shouldn't come too close to the lake because it actually has a giant monster inside of it. That thing over there is Swan. I'm just gonna leave Swan alone for now. I think we need to go to the other side of that little pavilion here in the middle. To that building over there. So slowly making our way around the completely radioactive pavilion and we should be home free. Well, home free. I'm gonna enter a heavily guarded uh, gangster outpost, but as home free as we're gonna be. So, Park Street Station. This could potentially hurt. There's a lot of gangsters around I'm here. You, joining Skinny Malone's crew was the best decision we've ever made. Look at this place. I still say Malone's weak. He caught that detective snooping around him. What does he do? Locks him up. Like he ain't got the balls to just kill him. Well, don't let his new girl hear that. She'll start swinging that bat of hers at your face until there ain't no face left. So, two gangsters talking about uh, confirming that Nick is supposed to be over here. And those are Triggermen. 
So I think from here I might be able to just fire a few shots at the store, so. But the first shot doing double damage, and then the last one killing him. Don't have a good position here, but I don't think the other one actually saw me already. So if I can get the drop on the ghoul. And we use one of the criticals on that one triggerman. And I think I should be able to take out the final one with just normal VATS shots. Yeah, okay, so he's... What are you doing, buddy? Oh, what the hell? Hello! Oh, wow. Hi. No. I think I shot his weapon out of his hands. There we go. Oh, and there's another one. It's at least another one. I took a bit of damage, but it's okay for now. I think it's going to be one in the toilet over there on the left. Shouldn't be rummaging around his uh, corpse right now, but... Ow, 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 okay. Um, hello, goodbye. Yeah, okay, so that was the... Uh, those were the four triggermen hiding at the door. Now I'm just gonna loot a bit, because they all have 10mm pistols, so that means ammo and a bit of food, or most of them as well. I'm gonna heal in the meantime as well. And if we check out the terminal, we can already see that the station has been purchased by Vault Deck. Because uh, they wanted to make a uh, vault inside of the station here. Ooh, don't mind if I take the bourbon here. Is there more filled booze in here? Yeah, Gwyneth Stout. And that's another one, I think. Nope, oh, there we go. More booze for me. Okay, so aside from a booby-trapped toilet over there we should be fine over here nothing else and we can grab the uh, ammo from that last triggerman as well so that was the first part of the station just uh, a whole bunch of triggermen waiting at the door well basically guarding the door and this is going to be a pretty long mission by the way and oh there is actually a bed here as well am i hidden enough to actually sleep here because if I can drop a save, yep, I can, there we go. Quick save, if I'm sick, I'm sick, I don't really care. I'm parched from a lack of water, don't care, more experience for me. Uh, that's, a, that's a trap, isn't it? Yeah, that's a trap, definitely. So there's probably a grenade bouquet hanging around here somewhere as well. Ah, oh, there's a bomb on the wall over there. So let's grab that. Spring and copper, always good crafting materials. Now let's just move down. And this is one of the bigger areas. So Torso, I have a pretty good shot there. There we go. Oh, that was not what I wanted to do. Just reload. So what I'm going to do now is actually place a few mines. Because I have a few of those. Um, there we go. One over here. I do need to be careful that I don't blow myself up here. There's another Triggerman. Killed with a single sneak shot. And then I'm gonna throw another mine. Oh god. Ooh, this is gonna be a problem. There he goes. That's one. There's definitely more where that came from, but... There he is. Please don't kill me, Mr. Man. There we go. Or where that came from, I'm just gonna pick up that mine because that's just dangerous. Somebody might step on that. There's another one over there, but I can't see his head at the moment. If he moves just a little bit back. Yes, that seems to be perfect. Thank you, man. Thank you for exposing your head like that. There's another one coming. Probably gonna take uh, the place of his buddy there. Um, and okay, so he's over there. So if I move over here, I should be fine until I come a bit closer, and then we can get some headshots in. There we go. We got idiots of on that one, so that's 127 experience points. Oh god, hello. I don't think they come up the stairs for some reason, but uh, hi. Oh, he does? Oh, that's a legendary. Um, I should probably just try and do... Do this. There we go, he goes down in one critical. 
But that's good, because legendaries means more fancy gear. Yeah, this this is that's a lot of shots. Oh, the, he's behind the Coca-Cola, the Nuka-Cola machine. There we go. Just building up the critical for the next batch. There we go. And that seems to be the last one. Hunter's rated left leg. So Hunter, that's, yeah, reduces damage from animals by 15%. Not great. Um, so I can't do anything else but take it. But that's not great. So... Could have definitely been better. So, next batch of gangsters taken down, mowed down by a laser pistol. And we grab a lot of 10mm ammo that I don't really use anymore. Now that I think about it. I don't even have a weapon to fire that from anymore. I'm just walking around with a laser pistol and a sniper rifle. So, not much I can do with that now that I can think about it. So, I should probably discard all of that in a minute. So, right next to a save, I found another mattress. So Placed another uh, save there. So I saved right next to the save, which is fine, but it's expert locked, so I can't really uh, do anything with that. So let's head out and onto the next area filled with gangsters that we're gonna slaughter in a very aggressive manner. And then one of the other rooms is even a full blown bed, so la di flipping da, that's actually really good. Really, really good. Hmm, do I want a toaster? No, I don't need a toaster. I have plenty of materials right now. Which brings to my attention that I really should upgrade the uh, Righteous Authority once I get the chance. Because we have enough materials to do with that what I want. And mattresses and beds all over the place. And I think, is that a Nuka-Cola Quantum? That is nice. But we're entering our next area filled with gangsters. So I'm going to have to be careful because there's not really any good cover around here. So if I can use the sniper rifle... To take out a few of them before we head in. The, aha! There we go, there's one. I did kill that one even... Oh, and there's a legendary. Great. So as long as he doesn't see me, he's blindly firing in my direction, but I don't think he knows where I am. I'm still in caution. And I have plenty of 308 rounds. I've been saving those up for areas such as this one. I'm even back to hidden for some reason. Now I'm back into caution, of course. But uh, this is interesting. So there's definitely one over there. Okay, calm down. That was in the head, and I think that was the legendary one. That was the ghoul, so I think I killed the legendary one with a headshot there. And the other one is just freaking out, of course. Obvious, I would be freaking out if I was getting shot at by some... How the hell are you not dead yet? Now he is, but I did see another. Yeah, there he is. So now he's just standing there. There he goes. I think that was the last one. But I really want to have check out the corpse of the legendary guy. Because that might be even more fancy stuff. That's, yeah, that was, yeah, that's what left, what's left of that guy's head. Um, legendary man. Le legendary man. Was he further? I think it was that one over here. The guy in the fancy clothes. Mutant Slayer's rated chest piece. So that is reduces damage from super mutants by 15%. It weighs a lot though. I'm going to grab it for now. But I'm going to just drop it immediately. Because that's... I think that's pretty useless. I mean, yeah, I could start gathering sets of those to reduce damage from... But damage from super mutants... I'm not just looking for super mutants all that much. So... Definitely not. There we go. Let's just leave two pieces of legendary gear just on the floor here. That's that's normal, right? But as you can see, vault didn't just buy this to make a vault. They actually did build the vault inside of one of the subway tunnels. So this is Vault 114. And uh, Skinny Malone's gang actually took advantage of that and has made their base inside of this vault. It's of course super well defended because you need to go to the subway first. And then all the way through all of his gangsters to get even just in the vault. And the vault, of course, has its fair share of defenses as well. Because, well, people are going to notice if you open up the door of the vault, right? So I think if we just step in... Damn it, I hate it when they open the door. Why is that thing so loud? Hello? Is that you, Skinny? 
So there we go. Somebody is yelling for who opened up the door. Because, of course, this isn't normal. Oh, I missed there. That was a costly miss. I think that's his face. Oh, and I missed there again. I'm keep missing. This is this is my awesome, my awesome, you know. There we go. That's another shot in the chest. I think I'm not doing enough damage with this thing, so let's just head in. And then fire away. Yeah, that, the laser pistol is a lot more effective than anything else, so. Probably should just keep the sniper rifle for when I'm really far away, but for now... Hello! No, 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 please don't hit me! You're just hitting a metal helmet, dude! There we go. He just turns to that. He had shotgun shells, but for some reason wasn't carrying a shotgun. So those were the two guards at the entrance of Vault 114. Took care of them rather easily. Although that one guy took headshots like a champ. Really, I'm, I'm just impressed. And this terminal over here actually explains what the specific experiment for this vault was. So as mentioned in your briefing, Vault 114 will be hosting high-ranking members of local and state government, local luminaries, business people and their families. Future members are aware that they will be cohabitating solely with others of Boston's upper class. However, the luxury aspect of this vault has been highly exaggerated to the future residents. Multiple families chosen randomly will live and sleep in single room apartments, dining and bathing will be in shared quarters, and amenities will be minimal. In addition, we are currently interviewing for the overseer position for many candidates. Our goal is to find someone with no supervisory or government experience, and hopefully with a strong anti-authority bias. Human Resources tells, me, tells us that the interview process has vetted many viable candidates. By taking away the luxury and authority these groups saw in surface life, we hope to study their reactions in stressful situations. As such, please do not undermine the new overseer's authority at all during the experiment, even and especially if it may cause physical discomfort, embarrassment or harm to residents. So they want to play with rich people, basically. So the center door is locked, so we need to go through the side door and go deeper into the vault like this. But of course we're in a vault and vaults mean very nice supplies like medical supplies and so fresh food. Why the hell would anyone build a vault out of a subway station? This place is like the opposite of airtight. Because they weren't planning to use it, you moron. We used to pull this kind of gun all the time back before the war. Get a bunch of union boys to work some construction job that would go nowhere. Keep everyone on payroll. Which is, of course, not true, because we know that uh, they actually built the vault. There we go, and I think that got both of them. Yup, grenade in the face, and they're done. So, I don't know, oh, there are the corpses. So, 10mm rounds that are, for some reason, still something that I'm picking up. I, I should stop, I should really stop. There we go, 10 pounds worth of 10mm rounds on the floor there. Because, uh, yeah, they, those were actually weighing me down quite a bit, more than I expected. So, let's keep moving along uh, into the vault. And yeah, then we come to the area that I was dreading. This place is like, well, annoying central because of the grating over here. And I think if I just, I could technically just move back. Because um, that, where that guy's going is where we need to end up. But there's at least three guys around here, I think. Oh yeah, there's one guy right in front of me. So if I... Can I just do that with the sniper rifle? Oh, he didn't die. He didn't die. He didn't die. He didn't die. I... Ow. 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 Hi. So he's gonna die from that. And then he's gonna die from a few shots to the torso as well. Uh, so I'm not gonna pick up any of that loot. I'm not gonna pick up any of that loot either because it's not anything that I'm gonna get. So this is why I had a lot of ammo for myself already. Because most of it is actually... Uh, most of these guys actually just use guns and no energy weapons. And that of course didn't kill... Them. So yeah, my sniper rifle is really, really underperforming. So I really should stick to Righteous Authority for now. So that's a guy with a baseball bat. He's really... Yeah, he's... Oh, gold. Oh, gold. That was heavy. Hi. Goodbye. 
Okay, there's another one. There's clearly another one. Oh, I should have just picked his head, but he's pretty weak apparently. And I'm still in danger. Still in danger, so... I was really lucky. Most of these guys were actually in this room. Which makes the, uh... The ambush... Pretty useless, because usually there's a lot of guys in this open area over here. And they just shoot you through the floors and everything. He's probably downstairs even, so I don't even need to worry about that last guy. I'm just going to heal up. But the subtitles make it clear that there's... Yeah, that's a legendary triggerman. So I think I'm just going to drop down... Oh, Paul he just... How the hell did he know that? Well, let's just jump down. And then just do this. And there we go, because he got stunned from the uh, landing animation of the power armor. And yeah, he lost his head. So our third who acrobat is actually really nice. So reduces falling damage by 50%. We're not getting any falling damage, but that might actually be handy. And then of course, potato crisps. I'm going to take that as well. The terminal doesn't tell us anything new. It's the exact same uh, emails as the one before. So let's just dive a bit deeper. And I think we're getting pretty close to, yeah, the main area of the vault. So, and then we enter the main area of the vault. There's a few more fuse. I'll take that. Seems exotic enough to uh, keep uh, going. And now we have, of course, have purified water and undamaged stuff, which is always very, very nice material wise. Because that's going to give us uh, an extra boost. And the vaults usually have a few bits and pieces that are undamaged, like this light bulb. Nice source of copper, doesn't even weigh that much. And then we can open up this door, and I think we're where we need to be, yeah. How you doing in there, Valentine? Feeling hungry? Want a snack? Keep talking, meathead. It'll give Skinny Malone more time to think about how he's gonna bump you off. Don't give me that crap, Valentine. You know nothing, you got nothing. Really? I saw him writing your name down in that black book of his. Lousy cheating card shark, I think were his exact words. Then he struck the name across three times. Three strikes? In the black book? But I never... Oh no. I, I, I gotta smooth this over fast. So let's just take care of Dino over there. I don't have a critical actually. Let's just do this. I do now. Oh, crap. He's just leaving, isn't he? Okay, so he's going to take the stairs over there, I think. If I got the uh, the area down pat here. He doesn't seem to be all that worried about me, apparently. Hi, there he is. I'm just going to shoot him. Because he's a lot less beefy than I thought he would. Okay. Yeah, that railing was really protecting him over there for some reason so as you could see that was actually he was talking to uh, nick valentine so we get the overseer door password from dino or dino probably dino knowing my mafioso it's probably dino so uh let's open up the door here we can actually see valentine standing over there okay okay valentine let's open up the door i can take a number that's a bit weird but let's override the door controls and we're opening up the door there we go. Ah, uh, we can have a little chat with Nick Valentine. Hello! Because he looks a bit funny. I kind of love the irony of the reverse damsel in distress scenario. Question is, why did our heroine risk life and limb for an old private eye? What are you? Told you, I'm a detective. Look, I know the skin and the metal parts ain't comforting, but it's not important right now. The only thing that matters is why you went to all this trouble to cut me loose. So Nick is a synth. So that is, um, it's complicated, but... My baby's missing. His name's Sean. He was kidnapped, but I don't know who took him or where they went. Missing kid, huh? Well, you came to the right man, if not the right place. I've been cooped up in here for weeks. Turns out the runaway daughter I came here to find wasn't kidnapped. She's Skinny Malone's new flame. And she's got a mean streak. Anyway, you got troubles, and I'm glad to help. But now ain't the time. Let's blow this joint. Then we'll talk. It seems a bit like a walking stereotype, but Nick Valentine is awesome. So uh, he's a, an old version synth. All time. Muscled out of the old neighborhood by bigger players. Until they found this place. 
Don't know what happened to the previous owners, but they're not exactly around to charge rent. An empty vault. Perfect hideout. As I said before, the vault is a perfect hideout, but, is, but there's a few things in this room that I actually want to pick up. First and foremost, the speech bubble head. Perfect. So all vendors permanently have 100 more caps for bartering. Let your words be your weapon. Sadly not the charisma bubble head, but at least it's something. Uh, and then we can actually pick up a few other things here, mainly some audio diaries. Let's listen to those. I need to, I need to listen to them in order, because um, it's really, really important. So first up, this one. This is Vault Tech interview number 03 for the position of Overseer for Vault 114. Interview subject, Benjamin Beasley. Mr. Beasley, as Overseer of Vault 114, how would you settle a disagreement between two of your Vault residents? Well, I would obviously take it through the proper channels, assuming neither of their requests were against the law, of course. People need government. They yearn for it. I think it's a civic duty of every red-blooded American patriot to serve the... Yes, I think we have everything we need here. Thank you for your time. Oh, already? Well, I look forward to hearing from you soon. Yes, I'm sure you will. Please make sure to fill out your non-disclosure agreement on your way out. So, from the mention of, uh, well, a government, the interview was immediately shut down because we know they were looking for an overseer that didn't have any experience in that regard. So the next interview is number 21. This is Vault Tech interview number 21 for the position of overseer for Vault 114. Interview subject, Kimberly Weiss. Ever since I was a little girl in mock government, I dreamed that one day I would have the opportunity to lead a community to greatness. My goodness. Looks like we're out of time. What? We just started! Yes, yes. Thank you. If you could just send the next candidate in as you leave. Oh, uh, of course. Did I mention I was head of my debate team? I'm sure you did. Thank you. So again, totally not what they were looking for, but then eventually, interview number 87. This is Vault Tech interview number 87 for the position of Overseer for Vault 114. The candidate has refused to give his real name and has only provided the name Supkin Harry. That's right. I ain't telling you nothing. My name is the name I call myself. Not the rank and number the government branch on me. No, sir. Fascinating, Mr. Um, Soup Can, would you mind telling me why you're distrustful of the government? I've seen what they do. Gum up the works with red tape and bureaucracy. Take every hard-earned cent and use it to fund their Illuminati, Freemason sex parties. <sighs> I'm a free man. I should be able to live as I see fit. My taxes pay for them streets and alleys and dumpsters. I'll sleep where I want. Sir, according to this, you haven't paid taxes in many years. I seen the back of them Abraxo boxes. Not for consumption? Don't you tell me what to do. I'll eat what I want. Sir, you may just be the perfect candidate. How would you like to be the new overseer for Vault 114? I ain't wearing no goddamn tie. Or pants. So there we go. Soup Can Harry eventually became the overseer of this place without wearing pants. And of course, without having a clue what he's doing. And that must have frustrated the hell out of all these people because eventually they rioted, of course. There's a, a terminal with more information about how much Soup Can Harry fucked this place up. But uh, yeah, he did an amazing job. And that concludes another uh, experiment from Vault Deck itself. So let's uh, follow Nick Valentine and get the hell out of here. Hold up, I hear some of them coming. There they are. How do you want to play this? Well, wreck their shit, of course. Check on the prison. Why does that take so fucking long, huh? Hey, Dino, quit razzing that detective and get down here. Where the heck is he? Let's toss a grenade in for those first two. There we go. Those go. There goes one of them at least. And let's shoot him in the torso. 72% should be fine. 
And they still don't know where we are. And then let's just kill this guy with a critical. There we go. Clean. Clean. What do you th think about that, Nick? Was that, was that up to your standards? So supply-wise, these rooms are rather empty because, of course, the uh, Skinny Malone gang basically pilfered everything they could find. And I think this area also has a few dudes. Or not, maybe. And loud, huh? Well, it gets the job done. Too bad for whoever cleans up the floors. Yes, but uh, Nick, we don't even need to clean the floors here, because that's so that's perfectly fine. So I think Nick needs to open up this next door. The yeah, there we go. See if I can get it open. There we go. So we'll take advantage of the fact that he's doing yeah. that. Aha, antibiotics. And he opens up that door and I think I have... No, I didn't miss any supplies over here. So we should be almost out of here. Fusion cells. That's always nice. So that's the first time I actually found ammo for the gun I'm using in this place. Because everybody keeps using ballistic weapons. And not uh, anything fancy like I'm using. Especially not with such a fancy name like Righteous Authority. Hi, dude. Let me grind up a critical on you. Oh, sorry, Valentine. I, I think I shot Valentine in the back. That was not my intention, but uh, he took care of it. And Nick, Nick is actually extremely um, stealthy because there's literally one behind him and he doesn't really care about that. So let's just kill the Triggerman in the back. There we go. Yes, it is. So let's grab this over here as well. So it's down on the awesome tails. We gain five extra action points permanently, which is uh, really, really cool. The man who could stop time and apparently lift up skirts from a distance as well. I mean, Nick, you do have something you're getting shot at. You're, get, you're getting lit up, buddy. Hello. So again, I am using up a lot of my fusion cores by using fats. But if you've paid attention, there's a lot of beds in here. So if I have a minute, I can actually sleep here after we've uh, cleared out all the ghouls. Well, ghouls are normal people, but apparently most of the guys over here are actually ghouls. Nick is really nice. He's just triggering everybody. 50-50 in the face. And there we go. And then there's at least one more because we're still in danger. And Nick just doesn't care, does he? Ooh, more ammo. So, I'm gonna start boozing up as well, because I want to get a bit of a bit of weight while we're... Ooh, and I think we got just a, got addicted uh, on alcohol, so that's fine. Um, we're hidden, but there's definitely more gangsters where that came from. So, I'm just gonna keep my alcohol level high, and uh, we'll get rid of it eventually. But I think this is basically the last room before we get into problems. Hi! Oh, wait, 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 wait. Um, no, stop, stop, stop. And then critical one. There we go. And there's another one. Let's kill him as well with a critical. And then we can start building up criticals after that again. The punishing metal chest piece. Reflects 10% of melee damage back on the attacker. I need to take it, but uh, I'll leave it later on. Again, not really useful. The, the legendary stuff hasn't been really good lately. And with that area cleaned out, I'm gonna take another nap. A full eight hours of sleep gives us the, uh, well, rested bonus, but we got another infection. I mean, this is basically the cleanest the bed is gonna get, guys. We're gonna vault underground in a bed. So I think the, uh, the illness stuff has been broken a bit, but one antibiotic and we're mildly dehydrated. I'm gonna try and fix that a little bit, but not too much. So a bit of the purified water until we are Thirsty. Thirsty is good. So, we drank up again with a bit more booze and also ate the rat stack steak to get more carry weight. The name's uh, ironic, but don't let that fool you. He's dangerous. Another locked door. Shouldn't be too hard. So there we go. Nick is going to open that up. And now we're going to be face to face with Skinny Malone. Big fat footsteps on the other side. Once we step through this door, get ready for anything. So we could technically go the charisma round, but I'm gonna try and kill them all. Um, but to do that, I'm gonna have to try something different. Um, let's equip the bottle cap mines. What are you doing? You come into my house, shoot up my guys? You have any idea how much this is gonna set me back? 
I wouldn't be here if it weren't for your two-timing game, Skinny. You ought to tell her to write home more often. Oh, poor little Valentine. Ashamed you got beat up by a girl. I'll just run back home to Daddy, shall I? Should have left that alone, Nikki. This ain't the old neighborhood. In this vault, I'm king of the castle, you hear me? And I ain't letting some private dick shut us down now that I finally got a good thing going. I told you we should have just killed him! But then you had to get all sentimental. All that stupid crap about the old times. Dala, I'm handling this. Skinny Malone's always got things under control. Oh yeah? Then what's this lady doing here, huh? Valentine must have brought her here to rub us all out. Well, it's really, really interesting. They don't really care about me just putting that bottle cap mine down there right next to their feet. So if this charisma check fails, which it probably is going to, I'm not even going to try. They're just too hard, so I'm just going to be sarcastic. That wasn't the plan originally, but hey, tempting. Hey, I'm the one in charge here. You got something to say? Say it to me. Um, well... Darla is the problem. Look at yourself. Darla is playing you for a sap. You're better than this. You're better than her. No one tells Skinny Malone how to run his affairs. I've had enough of this. Time for the hard goodbye. Well, he's right. There we go. <laughs> um. Well, so much for Skinny Malone. So that's the power of bottle cap mines. All those holes in him. Uh, the bullets probably add a few ounces. We haven't even Good shot night, them, Nick. Prince. Here's to all the old days. He might have a few bottle caps up his Not ass, though. Conversation with Darla's parents when I tell them their daughter bit the big one. Well, at least the case is closed. It is. Let's get out of here. There's a service ladder that should take us right to the surface. Oh, well, that should have been interesting to know, but yeah. That heap of body parts was, was Skinny Malone and his uh, lovely woman, Darla. And... That's probably the easiest way to resolve this, because if they, if the charisma check works, they don't become hostile and the mine doesn't go off. If they do go hostile, this happens. And I think we did that fine. Uh, we're still addicted to alcohol though, so let's just grab another whiskey. There we go. Whiskey is the stuff. And let's grab the caps, of course. We don't want to leave those 18 caps lying around. This is Darla, and that's her leg. She's kind of snuggling up to her leg. Um, and then Skinny. He has a a submachine gun and a tuxedo, but I mean, I don't really care about all of that. They have really, really bad loot. Oh, that's good. But the rest, yeah, just a few food items. But Nick, where, where's Nick? Nick, where are you? So I think Nick already left through that uh, the service tunnel. I'm just gonna sneak just in case. Look at that Commonwealth sky. Never thought anything so naturally ominous could end up looking so inviting. Thanks for getting me out. How did you know where to find me, anyway? Not many people knew where I went. Yeah, of course. Ellie. Your secretary, Ellie. She sent me. She did? I should give her a raise. Now, you mentioned something about your son, Sean, and how he went missing. I want you to come to my office in Diamond City. Give me all the details. Besides, I think you've earned a chance to sit down and clear your head. Indeed, so uh, I'll follow you there. Lead the way, Nick. All right, let's move fast. Follow me. So there we go. Unlikely Valentine completed, and we don't trigger Idiot Savant. I still haven't triggered Idiot Savant a single time. That is freaking creepy. There we go. Oh, that was a raider. Um, but we do start the quest getting a clue. I'm just going to follow Nick, because Nick is... Oh, God. Yeah, there's definitely raiders in there. And there's a legendary reading in there. I think there's one on the sides here as well. Did one of them just open up the door? Thought there was. This is not good. That that's well, that's my fault for not getting uh Nick out of here. Let's just grab the torso shots. There we go. And we got level 17 now. I think. Well, since that's a legendary, I do want to see what he had. I didn't even get hit. Because Nick is taking all the shots. I think there's a door over here. Oh, God! Jesus! Am I glad I'm still in power armor? Yeah. 
Well, because you blow us up otherwise, I think there's another mine. Wasn't there another mine? Oh, there is a third, though. Um, let's do that. That just blew up. There's still radiation in my back, though, so... There's a Psycho with a critical upper face. There we go. Criticals are still doing the job. And then where's the last one? Probably on the right somewhere. I'm just gonna reload here. You can grab the scanner and the fuse. And the cryogenic leather chest piece. 10% the chance, chance to freeze melee attackers once every 20 seconds. That is cool. I'm gonna grab that just for the fun of it. Oh wow, there's at least two of them still here. That is interesting. How do I get up there? I'm actually gonna let uh, Nick in. Oh, there is actually another door here. Oh, I have never been in here, but this is an indoor area. And I need to be careful. Because if there's traps in here, I'm gonna die. Who's there? Uh, it's me, Louise. There he goes. Should have probably just normal shot because I'm wasting my fusion cores like that. But this does have a staircase. So if I just go up, could probably open up one of the side doors and get to where those other radios are. And when we get out, we should hear gunfire. Or not. Those radios are supposed to be here, right? Hi, that's the scaver. Um, so I really need to kill him. The scavers are, as you can see, pretty, pretty powerful. Let's do another one. Do another one, please. There we go. And that's idiot savant on the scaver. That is really nice. And he has hmm, tactical calibrated. Just gonna grab that. Hi. Yeah, I, I don't think I needed to hide from you. Oh, there's a mattress here as well. I'm just going to risk it. Famous last words, but I'm going to risk it. I'm just going to risk getting out of here alive. So I think Nick... Yeah, Nick is over there. Can I actually get... Ooh, I thought I could. But yeah, no fall damage in power armor, by the way. So following Nick was probably not the best idea. Because every time we come across something, we're going to have to fight it like this. There's a... Oh, God. You know what? I'm just going to... I'm just going to shoot the other one, Nick. I hope you're fine with that. Uh, you can uh, deal with the uh, the legendary. There we go. Oh, he's coming for me. There we go. Flammo. Okay, but that means more dog meat for me. That's always nice. I also have indeed. Thank you, game. But exterminate a shadowed leather. Ooh, that is really good, actually. Just gonna grab that as well. I have two perks that I can assign. Because we're level 17. And level 17 means... First up, Lone Wanderer 2. So now we can uh, carry 50 more pieces of uh, stuff. So that's definitely a go-to. And then of course, Critical Banker 2 uh, allows us to save two critical hits instead of the one. So we can use them whenever we need them the most. And there we go. Easy selection of perks there. And as you can see, we can now carry up to 330 pieces of junk and stuff like that. Is that? Ooh, those are multiple pieces of fancy Nuka Colos. Don't mind if I grab all of that. Nick's spot thing is so terrible that he goes a long way around to Diamond City, which means I'm going to actually grab. Uh, I'm just going to nip back into Hangman's Alley really quickly. So I'm going to leave now without the power armor suit to get back into Diamond City. And, uh, well, finish up the other quests. But now that I think about it, we should probably keep that for our next episode. So we're back in Diamond City and next time we'll talk to Nick Valentine about Sean to see if we can start finding our son after all we've done. But uh, we're safely back home. Uh, well, at least close to home. I think I'm just going to rent a room at the dugout in to save. But uh, with that done, hope you guys enjoyed this little episode of Fallout 4 Survival. And uh, thank you guys enormously for watching. See you guys next time. Goodbye.